Welcome to A Radiantly Healthy Life, the podcast where we explore natural health and wellness just for women. Here, we'll dive into a mix of mindfulness, homeopathy, herbal remedies, functional medicine, and those tried and true traditional methods. I'm Amy Whitbeck, your host and fellow traveler on this journey toward better health. As a natural health coach, I'm excited to share insights and tips I've learned not only through personal experience, but also from the amazing women I coach. So grab your favorite cup of tea or cozy drink, and let's chat as we walk this path to radiant health and happiness. Have you ever found yourself reaching for a bottle of vinegar, wondering why you're so drawn to that tangy taste? It's actually not as odd as you might think. From time to time, we all get hit with food cravings, and vinegar is no exception. But what's behind this peculiar craving? It could be anything from a simple nutritional gap in your diet to more complex medical reasons. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the world of vinegar cravings, unpacking why they happen and sharing tips on how to handle them. Plus, we'll shed some light on the surprising health perks vinegar offers and give ideas on how to add it to your meals in a safe and delicious way. Curious about your vinegar craving? Be sure to stick around to uncover the reasons behind it and how to make the most out of every tangy drop. Let's start with the causes of this craving. Craving acidic foods like vinegar can be caused by a variety of factors, but here are some of the most common ones you should look out for. Number one, nutrient deficiencies. If your body's mineral balance is off or you're deficient in specific nutrients, it could lead to cravings for vinegar or even pickle juice. When vitamins and minerals such as sodium, iron, calcium, magnesium, B vitamins, vitamin D, or any other necessary nutrient are not present in sufficient amounts, your body will often attempt to make up for it by prompting you to crave specific foods that can provide the missing nutrients. Number two, hormonal imbalances. Have you ever found yourself wondering why you crave vinegar before your period? Or maybe you crave sour acidic foods during pregnancy. If so, it could be because of any condition that affects your hormones, such as PCOS, diabetes, pregnancy, or just a general imbalance that can cause you to experience cravings. And vinegar is a common one. This is because hormone fluctuations or imbalances can lead to changes in the way that your body metabolizes certain foods, which can then trigger cravings. It's not uncommon for pregnant women to reach for sour foods and or salty snacks like dill pickles or salt and vinegar chips. And let's be honest, those pregnancy cravings are no joke. Number three, metabolic disorders. If a person has hypochlorhydria, also known as low stomach acid, they'll often experience acid reflux, heartburn, and other digestive problems. This can lead to an increased craving for acidic foods like vinegar. Low stomach acid can also cause nutritional deficiencies which could result in cravings for certain foods in an attempt to obtain essential vitamins and minerals. There are digestive system issues or disorders that could cause someone to crave pickles, sour food, or vinegar though. Celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and other digestive disorders can affect the way that food is digested and cause cravings due to the malabsorption of nutrients. Number four, psychological causes of vinegar cravings. It might seem strange, but stress and anxiety can also be triggers for cravings for vinegar. This is because when you're stressed or anxious, your body releases stress hormones like cortisol, which can make you feel hungrier than usual. These feelings of hunger and the craving for specific foods like vinegar may not be related to hunger at all, but rather a psychological need to soothe anxiety or cope. Emotional eating can be caused by stress and anxiety or by feelings of emptiness, depression, and even joy. This is when you eat to fulfill an emotional need rather than a physical one. At times like this, many people turn to sweet foods, but some will find themselves craving vinegar or something with a sour flavor. One last psychological cause of a vinegar craving I wanna mention could be attributed to habitual cravings. If you get into the habit of eating something with vinegar in it, such as pickles or certain salad dressings, your body might start to crave that flavor even if you're not actually hungry. Okay, now that we've covered possible causes of this tangy craving, let's go over the benefits and risks of adding it to your diet. Because as with anything, 
There are health benefits and possible risks. The first benefit of drinking vinegar, diluted of course, or eating vinegar containing foods is that vinegar is rich in acetic acid, which has been shown to have antimicrobial properties and could help inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria. The second benefit is that vinegar contains antioxidants, which can help reduce inflammation and promote healthy cell function. And who doesn't need less inflammation and healthier cells, right? Okay, the third reason to consider adding vinegar to your health routine is that this versatile product can help feed your good gut bacteria and maintain a healthy gut environment. Finally, vinegar can help maintain healthy blood sugar levels. A quick piece of advice though, while this inexpensive whole food product can be a helpful remedy to add to your daily diet, please speak with your healthcare provider before you consume vinegar if you have health problems, deal with low blood sugar levels, or need to lower your blood sugar levels. All right, now it's time to switch gears a little here and mention some of the risks of vinegar consumption. I know that natural health gurus, influencers, and even natural or integrative health practitioners often recommend vinegar, but even though it can be healthy for the human body, too much vinegar can cause severe damage to your tooth enamel. So it's best to drink in moderation and avoid drinking straight vinegar. Be sure to dilute it in water or other liquid. Another issue to be aware of before jumping on the vinegar bandwagon is that there is also the potential for drug interactions. So it's important to speak with a healthcare professional if you have health concerns or take medications. And one more risk I should mention, while many people with heartburn often have low stomach acid, there are those that have too much and should reduce or eliminate acidic food until that can be healed so as to avoid stomach lining irritation, sore throat from acid reflux or heartburn, and other uncomfortable symptoms. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's talk about the different types of vinegar that can help satisfy your cravings. Apple cider vinegar. This is one of the most popular kinds of vinegar and is great for adding to dressings, marinades, or even drinking diluted with water. White vinegar is a versatile vinegar that can be used for cooking, cleaning, and pickling. Balsamic vinegar. This rich and sweet vinegar adds flavor to salads, grilled vegetables, and even desserts. Red wine vinegar has a more mellow flavor than white or apple cider vinegar and pairs well with heavier dishes such as pasta and grilled meats. Rice vinegar. This light and mild vinegar is a popular ingredient in Asian cooking, particularly for sushi rice. So how do you add vinegar's great flavor and nutrition to your daily routine? There are so many delicious ways. Number one, salads. Adding a light vinaigrette or dressing to your salad is an easy way to enjoy the tangy taste of vinegar. You can also mix in other ingredients such as olive oil and herbs for flavor. Number two, marinades. Vinegar adds flavor and helps tenderize meat, making it perfect for marinades. Try a combination of herbs, spices, and vinegar types to create unique flavors. The third way to enjoy vinegar is to add it to baked goods. Just a teaspoon of white or apple cider vinegar added to cakes, cookies, and bread doughs or batters can help your tasty treats be lighter and fluffier. Okay, on to number four, sandwiches. Jazz up your sandwich by adding a little bit of vinegar to the spread or condiment you're using. The fifth way to use vinegar on this list is one that most people are familiar with, and that's pickling and preserving. Pickling vegetables is an easy way to incorporate vinegar into your diet and preserve healthy garden produce at the same time. The final way to add a little more vinegar to your day, and my personal favorite, is to enjoy refreshing drinks made with this tart, healthy ingredient. Recipes like switchel, lemonade, or even a simple mix of vinegar and honey can be great options. Oh, just a quick tip. Vinegar is also a great addition to sauces, pesto, dips, and dressings too. Okay, now it's time to wrap this up. And just like that, we've come to the end of our deep dive into the tangy world of vinegar cravings. It's been a fascinating journey, hasn't it? From exploring why some of us might find ourselves reaching for that bottle of vinegar to understanding the many possible reasons behind these cravings, we've covered a lot. We looked into how nutrient deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, and even psychological factors can play a role. And let's not forget the surprising benefits vinegar can offer to our health, alongside the importance of moderation to avoid any potential risks. 
So what should you take away from our chat today? It's simple. Listen to your body. It's smarter than we give it credit for, often signaling what it needs through our cravings. But as we've seen, it's crucial to approach these signals with mindfulness and when in doubt, to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant dietary changes. Now I'm turning it over to you. Have you ever experienced an unusual food craving? What was it and how did you respond? Share your stories with us. Your unique craving might just become the highlight of a future episode. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, keep listening to your body and stay curious. Until next time. Thanks for listening today. Are you interested in diving deeper? Head over to irradiantlyhealthylife.com and be sure to sign up for my email list so you can stay up to date on what's new and gain access to exclusive tips, insights, and resources available only to my community. While you're there, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this episode, consider sharing it with a friend. Every share helps us reach more people and spread the message of health and wellness. I'll be back next week. But in the meantime, remember, small steps really do make a big difference. See you next time.